Hi everyone, today I'm painting some insects and plants in a tropical rainforest. I'll first talk about the painting and drawing process and then move on to what's actually happening in this painting and why I made it. After planning out the scene in my sketchbook, I sketched it onto watercolor paper with a colored pencil. I was going to use a watercolor pencil so that the sketch would eventually just dissolve into the painting, but I forgot and used a normal colored pencil instead. But it was okay, the pencil erased fine after inking. The beetle I'm drawing is the same shape as a normal dung beetle, but I'll be using different colors. You can first sketch out the main oval shape and then start refining the three parts of the body and adding eyes, tentacles and the six legs. There's also a spider in the corner sitting on a leaf. Next I'm inking the sketch with a micron fine liner which is waterproof so I can paint over it. This is 250 GSM rough acid-free watercolor paper in A4 size and I used half of the page and cut it down after sketching and inking. After inking I moved on to watercolor. I'm using a Gottman watercolor set and I list my supplies in the description below if you want to check them out. I started with the background just because I wasn't sure how I wanted to color the beetle and the spider. I'm laying a light green wash on the background and red on the hat or the top of the carnivorous plant and green on the bottom. I'm not inking anything in the background, I'm just painting random leaves using different greens and later on I'll add some blues as well. I decided I want the beetle to be a blue and green metallic color. I modeled the shape and the colors from two different species, so I'm not sure if a species like this exists or not. I'm painting the beetle in layers, starting from light blue and green and leaving a bit of white for highlights. And I'm building up the color with darker blues and greens and a bit of yellow as well. Before I add the spiderweb and finish up this painting, let's talk about why I made it and the story of what's happening in the picture. Last week I found out about a new YouTube artist collective called Animal Artists Collective. They'll paint or draw an animal based on a theme every two months, make a speed painting video and sell the artwork and give at least 50% of the proceeds to animal conservation. You can also take part in the themes unofficially, which is what I'm doing now. The first theme is tropical rainforests. I had less than a week to come up with an idea and the painting, so I decided to do something simple. For inspiration, I watched the Planet Earth Season 1 Jungles episode and got the idea for this painting. The carnivorous plants attract insects with the nectar and then the insect falls in because the sides of the plant are slippery and the insect will drown and dissolve inside the plant. But there are also spiders who use this trap to their own advantage. So the spider is lurking in the corner, waiting for the prey to fall in and drown and then it will use its web as a lifeline and go fetch the prey from the plant. Realistically, I don't think a small spider could carry up the beetle, but that was my idea for this piece. I finally added a spiderweb in white on top of the painting. I tried using a metallic marker, a gel pen and a colored pencil, but the only thing that would work was a correction pen and even that left puddles of white on the paper. I also added a few highlights on the spider and the beetle. I linked to another beetle painting video where I used charcoal and acrylic paint on cardboard. That one is even less realistic, but it was fun to make. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more art tips and speed paintings. I post a new video every Friday and sometimes an extra video on Tuesday.